Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys as always. And today, as you can see by the title of the video, we are doing another episode of Clashing Culture. It's been about a week since I did one of these. Um, I'm happy about it. I love these. They're so much fun for me. Um, but today, as you can see from our background right here, we're going to be doing a little bit of work to LeBron Mr. James. And we are going to be um, grabbing a hog rider right here. And we're going to be bringing him on here. And we're going to be doing a little bit of work to him. So first of all, we need to um, flip our hog rider this way. So we're going to flip him and we're going to... And we're done. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. So um, the orientation of... The reason that I picked this picture of LeBron James is because it fits perfectly with the orientation of the hog rider right now so I think we'll be able to uh, to match him up pretty pretty good so um, why don't we go ahead and uh, just get in here and start um, start doing some work so we're gonna add a layer mask to him and we're going to oops and we're gonna grab our brush tool and we are just going to start getting rid of um, the hog of the hog rider. So let's go ahead and take all of this out. We're gonna try and make it as clean as possible, even though in real life his beard would look a little bit um, less perfect as it does in in this image from uh, Clash of Clans. So we're actually gonna make his beard look a little bit choppy, um, just so that it looks a little bit more like. A beard instead of a perfect uh, instead of a, a perfect shape like uh, how Clash of Clans has it but obviously it's animated so that's how it's gonna look um, so why don't we go ahead and finish up this beard right here there we go it looks pretty good and then um, <laughs> my cats are fighting <laughs> um, and let's bring this guy right hey are you guys serious I'm gonna let them out <laughs> You guys just got a butt shot, didn't you? <laughs> Alright, so let's keep on going with this. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> butt shot in a video. Alright, so you can see this already looks pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and... It looks a little bit big for his head right now. So um, let's go ahead and pull it up. There we go. That looks perfect right there. Um, and let's zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna make this a little bit cleaner. Um, yeah, there we go. Fix his earrings. Good. All right, and then we're also going to need to um, lighten his skin up just a little bit. So we're actually going to uh, duplicate our hog rider right here, um, and we are going to mess around right here with the hue and the saturation. I believe his skin needs to just be a little bit um, lighter to match, um, not too much lighter. That's looking pretty good. We might need to put a couple of glares on him like this to make him look like he's sweating a little bit. Um, why don't we do that? Let's see if we can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab this little part of... LeBron's arm. I'm going to copy that and let's bring that up on top of all of this and uh, let's bring that over here. Let's say he has a little bit of sweat on his forehead. Let's see if we can make it look like he's sweating a little bit. Um, we don't want it to be too saturated. Alright, so we're not going to do it like that. Let's grab a brush. This brush kind of looks like it could um, match that little sweat look right there. So um, why don't we go ahead and add a little bit of sweat up here above his eyebrow and see if we can make this look good. Um, 50%. Let's erase some of that. I think his skin is still a little bit light. 
it, it doesn't it doesn't match LeBron's skin right now. So let's go ahead and let's see what else we can do. Let's mess a little bit more with this hue saturation on here. Um, perfect. <laughs> and let's see what we can make happen right here. Uh, shoot, that automatically makes him look like he's sweaty if we do it like that. Let's use that and then let's um, lighten him up right here in layers. There we go. That's starting to get there. Now it looks like there's some more light on his face as well. That's what we needed to do. Um, but let's get rid of some of it from the top up here. There we go. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's looking really good. Um, and I'll be sure to put a link to this in uh, in the video as well, so that you guys can download it. All right. Um, and that's looking pretty good. I think it's still off just a little bit. Uh, Forty three. There we go. Um, <laughs> so it looks like Mr. LeBron Ryder. Um, or Hog James. Hog James is what we're going to go with. Uh, <laughs> let's write that on here. Hog James. <laughs> so this is Mr. Hog James, you guys. We're going to make this, we're going to make this kind of look like a poster for y'all, uh, just so that it isn't just his head <clears throat> on here. So why don't we go ahead and we're gonna add some stuff to this to make it look a little bit more dynamic so let's go ahead and just fill this whole thing up with black right now and then we're gonna put it down to about 35-45 percent um, and then we're going to we're just gonna lighten him up more than the background there we go so you guys can already see what we did there we're making him the focus of the picture instead of the background. These guys are like, oh great, LeBron's dunking on us. <laughs> and then let's go ahead and darken up these, uh, there we go, darken up these corners a little bit as well. <clears throat> Mr. Hog James. <laughs> Hilarious. There we go. So we're darkening those up. Um, do we have any, let's add a, I'll show you guys what I'm doing to the text right here. Let's go ahead and add a gradient overlay to it. Um, it kind of matches his jersey. So let's change this color to this red right here. And then let's go ahead and pick a darker red right there for the rest of it. Um, and why don't we do a inner glow on it? Make that white, size it up a little bit. Um, use a drop shadow too. We're not gonna spend too much time on this text. Um, I want that gradient overlay to be a little bit more uh, drastic than it is. Let's switch these, let's put the dark at the bottom. And let's lighten this up a little bit more. There we go. All right, so that looks a little bit better. There's Mr. Hog James himself. <laughs> uh, and let's see what else we can do to this. Let's go ahead and add a gradient map to it. We could make a black and white picture, but I don't think that's as cool. Ooh, that one looks sweet. There we go. Put that down to about 50% on there. Now look at that, guys. Huh? Can I get a like for the way that that looks? Because that looks awesome. Mr. Hog James himself uh, is in the building dunking on some fools. <laughs> let's go ahead. Let's make this a little bit better because we're only nine minutes in right now. Uh, we can have a little bit more fun with this. Um, put on this guide. Make sure that I get this right. There we go. Make selection. <clears throat> and we are going to fill this in 
a little bit of red as well. There we go. I'll raise some of that from around him. Mr. Hog James himself, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this looks awesome. I love doing these with you guys because I don't like practice it beforehand or anything. Um, I kind of just do it on the fly because it's more fun that way for me uh, to do. So these are always fun because I don't know what the result is going to be either. So that's why I love doing these. Um, they're a lot of fun for me. And uh, yeah, I just really, really enjoy it. Let's add this right here as well. There we go. Erase the part coming over him. Oops. There we go. Do a little bit with this. Let's see what we can make it look like. That one looks pretty cool. And you know what I think we need? Um, I think that we need a little bit of smoke on here. Do I have... We are going to um, go grab some... Wow. Well... Now you can see the internet. <laughs> Let me minimize that and get that out of the way. All right, so I need to get, um, we're gonna get out of here. People are watching, what are you thinking? <laughs> um, smoke, PNG, so I need to get some smoke to add in here just to make it a little bit more uh, epic for you guys. Um, let's see what we can find. I know I should have found this before, so you guys can, go ahead and get mad at me for doing this. Oh, why did I do Google Smoke? <laughs> Is this one? Yeah, there we go. Alright, so um, we are going to drag this up on here. Look at that. Get some smoke up in here. Make this look real epic. Bone like he's up in the clouds. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's see what we can do with this smoke as well to make it look a little a uh, bit more dynamic. There we go. I kind of like that. Let's do exclusion on the other ones as well. Uh, how's that looking? No, that looks too dark. Change the one over him so that we can see exactly what's going on with it. You know, we're just going to leave it at normal. Um, switch all these back to normal. There we go. Uh, yeah, so that looks pretty good. I kind of like the way that that is looking right now. What do you guys think? Huh? You think that looks pretty epic, Mr. Hog James? <laughs> Add a little bit of smoke up here in the corner. And let's bring some over here as well. Let's make this not too noticeable down here. There we go. Well, I kind of like it over his name like that. What happens when I mess with this one? Nothing really. Oh, yeah. Gosh. Dawning on you guys. All right, so we're going to leave that right there. And you know what, guys? I think that that's going to be the end of of this episode of Clashing Culture. Mr. Hog James is in the house, dunking on some fools. I hope that you guys liked this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and, yeah, as always, guys, make sure that you keep calm and clash on, alright? I'll see you guys later.